look who it is. None other than Don and Candace, who have been very quiet recently. They just did an interview days before the three-year anniversary of their daughter, Summer Wells' disappearance. What they have to say is very interesting. On the 15th June 2024, Summer Wells will be missing for three years, and not sure how much longer this case will go on, with absolutely no updates anymore from TBI or Hawkins County. Pretty pathetic if you ask me. They dropped the ball on this case from day one. Don Wells did most of the talking in this interview, and said that they know Summer was taken off the property, they know that she was taken away in a vehicle, or else they would have found her somewhere in the area. But who's responsible, they don't know. Don and Candace say it's been a while since they even talked to law enforcement, probably over a year ago. Don tried to talk to an FBI agent about it, but that didn't go anywhere. Here's what shocked me. Don said that it's probably a good thing they didn't hear from Hawkins County. What an interesting statement to make. He was asked why he said that. Don said Hawkins County is always negative towards them. Don and Candace go on to say that all their kids have been stripped away from them. They're not sure about Summer, but they know where the boys are. Candace and Don no longer have rights to their sons. Don Wells said he feels that he and his wife were targeted by the Hawkins County Sheriff's Office. He said they belittled and intimidated them. Moving on, it seems like Don might think CPS kidnapped Summer. When asked about his thoughts on what happened to her three years later, he says that someone called CPS about him allowing the kids to play with loaded guns, and the case was closed on June 14th, and then 24 hours later, Summer is gone. Candace didn't even sit through the whole interview, she got up because apparently it was too much for her.